What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. What's cracking, people? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, in all my glory. And yes, for the people that have been asking me, I have been at the gym there. I've been working out, feeling good, hitting your punching bag. When I mean punching bag, I mean you assholes on YouTube who have been knocking the fuck out with the one thing that's called facts. So now, we're back to the lecture in hand. Continue my international series, which I tell people, if you if you look at my one video, there's a reason why I do more international, because it interests, it, it, I mean, it's interesting to me. I do a lot of American stuff, but hey, it's not as interesting to me as like international stuff. Today we're gonna talk about the Arab Coalition in Syria, the real reason, and I touched upon it in other time, in other videos, but uh, the Arab coalition, which is Jordan, which is Qatar, Saudi Arabia, and the United Arab Emirates, they have joined the USA and our allies in, 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 in the battle against ISIS in Syria, and I'll talk about how, how we got to dig deeper in Syria pretty soon, uh, and it's the first time since the Gulf War a coalition, coalition like that, and the Gulf War was basically the same thing. ISIS is, and let me give you a little background on ISIS for those who aren't today. ISIS is the old Baathist party of Saddam Hussein, his generals, which ironically was getting money from the Saudis and the Qataris and probably the United States to take out Syria until they got too big for the bridges and decided to go to Iraq. And Iraq, which is Sunni dominated, not Sunni dominated, which is Shiite dominated, wouldn't give the Sunnis any power, so the Sunnis start off with Syria. It's one big cluster, you know what? It's I'll, I'll go into depth if you want me to later, but I'm talking about the coalition. So here we are now. And the monarchs, the only reason why there's a coalition is because the monarchies in these countries are afraid it's a real threat. Remember the Arab Spring, whenever they are our, our quote-unquote allies with the United Arab Emirates? I think there was one in, in there, I think there was one in Yemen, and I think there was one in Qatar. I'm not, I know there was at least two of those. I'll, I'll make it, I think at least one of those had an Arab Spring uprising. And uh, these people were afraid, because if you, if you look at ISIS, ISIS is getting people to join. Like, and they're, getting, they're not just getting brown and blacks, they're getting white folks to join. And this is what's scaring, the, I think this is what really scaring the Saudis, that ISIS is really rallying a whole different group of people besides just the regular Muslims, you know what I mean? But the, let's not forget, if you got a lot of Eastern European countries, Muslims, there's a lot of Muslims in that territory. Remember uh, Serbia, Yugoslavian war, all that? There was a lot of battle with the Muslims. Muslims are as far north as Sweden and Norway. That should get, that should let you know. There's the, the Chechens in Russia were Muslim. So I'm telling you, there's Muslims clear up there. They just don't look like me or look like, you know, Ahmadjad down there at the fucking, you know, golf station there at the corner store. But back to lecture hey, Now ISIS is a definite threat, like I said, because it has become larger than what they thought it would be. It's, it's It took on its life of its own, and it's getting like what, four, What's it getting like 10 million a day or something? Some shit like that. 10 million a day. And uh, they may tell you they don't feel threatened, but their actions prove otherwise. They all came together with the United States. Because remember when the, first, when the Gulf War happened? Saudi Arabia was playing this. We don't really want to, but you know, at the same time, it, you know, we, we have to, but we don't want to do it. But now Saudi Arabia is like, no, fuck that. We, we we're protecting our oil. Uh, but the coalition is the majority of the operations, like, but where was, I'm on, let me real back up. Where was this coalition during the operations in Iraq when we did the heavy lifting? Where were they then? They weren't helping out, they weren't trying to stop this. They let it build up to the point now it's their monster to, once again, we got to clean up. The winner will get the spoils of war when you think about it. And say that the coalition wins, they get the spoils of war, which would be that war-rich region of Iraq. So it's kind of not hard to piece together. 
like I said, they could have they could have helped out our back before, but you know, where were they where were they to lend a hand? You know, they also had Assad by the way, which Assad wasn't a real fan of them. And the coalition, like I said, the coalition may expect, I think, the coalition is expecting us to use our force. But like I said, Assad didn't want us to bomb on Syria, which any, any smart person of that of their country would want to be bombed anyway. But Assad told us not to bomb Syria. And Assad said stuff might happen, you know. Like I said, they're against the Assad, they're against the Assad regime. So what they might be thinking is, well, if America bombs Syria, Maybe America will take out Assad and take all our problem away from us. And that way they can clean, sweep, and put whoever they want in Syria. You know, they want to do this. This goes well beyond ISIS and the Karachan group. If I'm pronouncing it wrong, sorry. This goes well beyond that. This goes beyond some like political, regional takeover stuff that's well beyond the, you know, the limits of your. You and I's capabilities of thinking what it could be. So there's more to this. Like I said, we're not we're not over there just to protect the world. They've been killing Americans for years over there. What's 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 stopping? What's 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 the deal now? The deal is the Saudis are finally getting their asses out of the fire, and they see that their oil fields, or more oil fields, they can get. So I'm out of here. It's all for the oil. Peace.